everybody, welcome back to the Footsteps of the Past channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to clean out, clean your uh, mirrors and your lenses for your first week clean. So I typically run this laser maybe 10 hours a day, uh, 8 to 10 hours a day I guess, and we cut primarily plywood and acrylic which are both really dirty. I try to clean out the mirrors and the laser lens once a week. The reason why I'm making this video is because when I first started owning and operating uh, lasers, uh, maybe five six years ago there was no good videos on how to do this written in English so I want to go ahead and make it very clear for somebody that can speak fluent English would not just have music in the background with a high speed thing going on you're like what the heck's going on but I want to show you uh, my tips and tricks and what I've learned over the years of running a uh, running five laser machines eight to ten hours a day okay let's jump right into this one uh, up in here is your first mirror right in here so it reflects the beam down through the lens here and then we have uh, mirror number two here and mirror number one uh, back there in the corner and then you can see uh, there's the the laser tube right in here so this one here I try to clean once every three months the mirror number two here I try to clean once every two months and the, the cleaning process on mirror number three which I need to clean well I clean once a week but if you're not running this thing 40 to 50 hours a week you could probably get by with just doing this uh, once a month to clean these out. So I'm just going to loosen this screw bolt right here to get this to get to my mirror. Try not to adjust your adjustment settings here, but we'll just move it a little bit. This is the easiest mirror to clean, obviously, because it's the easiest to get to. The other ones are standing upright, you know, like this. So if you take that screw out, these might fall out on you. So not these, but the lens itself might fall out on you. I have premium gold coated lenses. I'm going to set this camera down. Okay, one of my other machines is just a, this is a cheap Chinese machine. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on here. Small one, yeah, this is a 60 watt machine as opposed to the 80 watt machine I had over there. But really what I'm showing you is the cleaning process. Now you might have this style of ring holding in your mirror, which is a pain in the butt. The only way I've been able to, to get these to really work, they make a specialty tool for this, or you can just get a set of really skinny needle nose pliers. That's what I typically do here and unthread those right there. That's really all I wanted to show you on this. This particular machine is a pain in the butt to get the mirrors in and out of. Whereas this machine is just basically any flat, flat headed screwdriver will work. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and operate on this machine running. I have two limit switches on the door, one here and one there. Those both need to be closed and you need to press the button to have the laser pulse. It's a possibility something could fall over and press the laser button. I have two fail safes still with the laser door, with my door being open. The cheap Chinese machines have no door safe, have no switch. The laser machine could just turn on and pulse and catch your nose on fire like it did to me a couple years ago. So be very, very careful because the laser pulses are invisible. It could be on right now and I not even know it. So be very careful with those. Now we want to put down a microfiber rag or cloth however you want to mention it and uh, we'll pull out the we'll pull out mirror number three and we'll pull out the laser lens here which is located in this thing here it's really not that dirty i clean them out once a week if any bit of dirt on these things will uh really slow it down this this mirror actually is pretty good but i still want to show you i haven't cleaned i, I actually did this one a few days ago so i cleaned this mirror out a lot but what i haven't done is the lens which is located within the nozzle here. So I'm running a, uh, a two and a half inch lens. What was that, 60.8 millimeters? And so I have an extension on mine here, so I can actually loosen it right here. And my nozzle will come off just like so. My nozzle, set it to the side, and it pulls a thing down here, and you can see the yellow in there is my laser lens. If you don't have the appropriate tool, which is just a piece of steel at the exact width of the uh, tube here to get this out, you can use the two needle nose pliers trick to get this out just like on the cheap mirror. But keep in mind, if you slip, you're gonna scratch your mirror or your lens, and your lenses are very expensive. Uh, you can pick up cheap ones for $20, but I pick up the, the premium one, which is, uh, I think you can get it from cloudray.com for about $50. Thread this off. Okay, 
wings, and I'm just gonna drop it right out, see it? Right out onto the, car the carpet here. Things you're gonna need, don't be fooled by laser paper, laser cleaning swabs, laser cleaning solutions. They're just upcharging you. Uh, save some money. Trust me, it's the exact same thing. Laser cleaning solution, guys, it's just denatured alcohol. This entire can is going on, I don't know, maybe a year now, and it's still half full, and I think it's $7. So don't run off and buy the little spray cans of laser cleaning solution for $20, $30. You're just going to get denatured alcohol. The laser cleaning swabs or the laser paper, again, don't run off and buy the really, really expensive stuff, especially for lasers, because it's a waste of money. All you really need are Q-tips. I got uh, wood applicator ones that are... I have ones like this that are sterile. They're still even a lot cheaper than buying the professional laser cleaning products. These are sterile. I know they're good. I, buy, I bought a case of, I don't know, a thousand of them off of Amazon for uh, under 10 bucks last year. And I'm just now about out of them. So they've lasted me almost a year, about a year for a thousand Q-tips. You could just buy Q-tip brand with the paper uh, st sticks. I prefer the wood ones, but if you're really careful with the, if you're not careful with these, the wood will scratch your lenses and will scratch your mirrors. Be very, very careful with them. I just prefer them because I feel like if I, I can use them a little easier. Let's get the cleaning. I have a wet cotton swab here full of denatured alcohol. You're just going to put that right in the center. You can see it starting to it just work circles. Kind of like if you were cleaning a CD back in the day. Now, ever so gently, working the circles in the middle, keeping the whole area wet. Do it a couple times. If they're really dirty, it's going to take more than a couple times. And if they're really dirty, you might just have a ruined mirror and you might just have to replace your mirror. Sorry. Should have cleaned it once a week. I'm just kind of laying it on there. I'm not applying much pressure. Holding it on the side. I'm twisting this in a circle as I'm going around and around and around from the center all the way out. You could do this without this if you hold this just in your fingers that's the way i normally do it but i'm holding a camera and a mirror so now we got it just the alcohol on there you see it's already starting to look a little better kind of just gotta wait for the alcohol to dissipate you could blow on it now the alcohol starting to dissipate keep that q-tip clean now we're just going to take with the dry one I switched it out. This is not dry. It doesn't have any alcohol on it. And we're just going to go circles. And rotating. Spinning around. I'm going to edit this up or maybe speed it up because you guys don't need to watch all this. Oh, everybody. Looks pretty clean to me. See my face, see my eyeballs moving. La! Clean. So this mirror is now clean. We're gonna put it back in. Take a look at my mirror, my, my mirror, I'm sorry. Take a look at my lens. If you shine it through it, you can see we're kind of green. Uh, these, some, this is not a cheap Chinese lens. You can get a cheap Chinese lens and they're not, look, I could see through this. Look, I'm on the back side of the lens. A cheap Chinese mirror or a used mirror. I've had them ship me used mirrors. They just clean them and make them look new. But this should be see-through. Look, it's see-through. Okay? It's, it's yellow or orange, but it's see-through. I'm going to go get a spent or a used lens just so you guys can see so you don't get ripped off. <clears throat> see that name there? I'm not going to say it. This is straight from them. Brand spanking new. I've never opened it. I have no idea at all if it's going to be any good this is a cheaper chinese company they do sell some decent products but a lot of their products not very good so uh, let's open this one up i've never opened it it's still in the uh, lens paper so let's let's take a look at this one in its lens move the good one out of the way it's still taped closed from the manufacturer just i just got this one just because I wanted to get a, this is a, a four inch lens so I can cut thick foam. I haven't used it yet, I got this like six months ago. It's still in the plastic, still in the paper. 
Oh, it's got a little, I can already see through it a little bit. It might be okay. I've gotten some crappy ones from this company. That's why I want to do this. All right, here we go. This is cheap Chinese laser. This is good Chinese laser. Do you see the color difference? The one on my left is darker. It's more translucent. It's not made, see how much more clear the one on the right is? This is a price difference. This is probably twice to two to three times the price. You're gonna get a lot more life out of this. Look at look how much darker this is. This will work, but this is not this. Okay, so these darker ones are not awesome. This, this is what you're looking for, not this. So if you got this, it'll work, but pick one of these up and you'll, you'll see the power difference. You're gonna see a 10, 20% increase in power with these. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for lenses. It is worth to pay a little bit more to get a good one and make sure you're getting a good one. Cloud Ray does give good, good ones and Rabbit Laser will get, make sure you get a good one as well. However, like I said, they are cheaper through Cloud Ray and it's pretty much the same product, but this the Rabbit Laser is just over here in Ohio. It'll come in a lot faster and you, they, you will for sure get a good one because they look at every single piece there. Put away this cheap Chinese one. I haven't even used it. I just wanted to goof off with a 190 millimeter lens uh, and see what I can cut with it. I just haven't done it yet. Maybe I'll do a video on that if you guys enjoy these videos. Oh, I'm looking for this guy and it's resting underneath my camera. Now you can just reuse this one. Why I like the long wooden handled ones because this is an extension. I always make sure that gets wiped out. How dirty that is. You reuse your old ones on this. This doesn't matter. You can scratch the steel all you want. <clears throat> so I'm telling you guys YouTube because there's nobody in my shop that wants to hear this because it's boring. <laughs> Alright, so this is down. Remember con convex side, so the bubble side that goes up will come here. The laser beam will come down and then it'll come out the bottom. So the convex concave side is on the bottom, convex side on the top. Which makes it weird because I gotta flip this thing upside down and make sure I don't mess myself up. Okay, it's in there crooked and upside down right now. So I just use my cotton swab. Flip around the right way. Oh, it's in there. A little gasket. Again, I use the cotton swab. Push my gasket in there. Because my cotton swab most likely won't scratch it. It could. Oops, put my cotton swab. All right. Oh, wow, look at that. I've forgotten to put this guy in there before, believe it or not. <laughs> Don't put that in there, and then you're engraving, and your little dot's getting wider and smaller, and you're ruining all kinds of stuff. That's one good thing about not knowing how to use a laser or messing up with a laser is you can ruin all kinds of things. You put a $100 board on here with a loose laser head like I did right there, engrave it and mess it all up. With a stupid mistake like that. Make sure you put those back in and make sure they're still clean when you're after it. So let's put this thing back together. This slips up in here. Nozzle. Goodness gracious, got all my... Make sure that's tight. Okay, now where do you put this at? Oh no! It doesn't matter. Put it where you want to put it. You'll see my... Oops. You'll see my autofocus here is loose. It's always loose, getting caught up on bent plywood and stuff. I wind up when I'm autofocusing, just hold it over here tight like this, let it autofocus, and then drop it, put it to the side. It then doesn't get caught on anything, but this autofocus on my plywood, if it pops up just a little bit like this, this gets caught and ruins this thing, bends this thing. So I found out just loosen it up a little bit, push it on here tight, and let it autofocus. So I know a lot of you die-hard laser people are going to tell me, oh, you need it within the hundredth of a millimeter. Into, you know, I mostly cut, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can still engrave photos very, very well. I can put your face on this on into a piece of wood with this tool right here, 
and it'll look like a daggone picture. So I know what I'm doing. It'll look beautiful. I just we just don't do a lot of it. We mostly cut. So I use this autofocus off to the side. Guys, it's done. Oh no, it's not. Obviously, the mirror is where it reflects off of the laser beam. The other side's not a mirror. Don't put that one in upside down. If you put that one in upside down, you deserve to have a laser not work on you and figure out what the heck's going on. <laughs> I've actually done that. I make myself feel like an idiot. Oh my goodness. All right. Tighten this bad boy back up. Now these uh, little springs here, if you don't mess with those or don't mess with the tensioners, just tighten this thing up, taunt. You'll even see I'll move it a little bit. Hope it didn't, but you'll see sometimes I move it a little bit, but those springs will pop this guy back into place. And it'll still be in focus. Uh, maybe when I change my mirrors out or when I do my three mirror clean, I'll show you how my process on focusing the laser. I got a pretty simple process. And guess what? I can do it in English. So let's go ahead and do something pretty cool that I don't ever get to see because you can't have the door open when you use a laser. Let's get cleaned up and let's see. Stand by. Hey, you want to see? If you feel like you want to see, this is me with my autofocus. Pull that right there. The camera's actually moving, not, not the head. The bed is moving up and down. Okay, that's how I autofocus. Let's see how I did. Pulse. Woo. See it? Nope, you didn't because guess what? Laser beams are invisible. That one right there went all the way through. And if you don't believe me that laser beams are invisible, let's do something dangerous. Don't try this at home. Of course you wouldn't because you're not going to have a laser at home. But let's do this. Okay, for those of you that don't believe laser beams are invisible, this is for you. Pass the safety switches on this just so I can do this for you. Paper here, just for fun. If I put, a, I put the camera right here, see that lens? Woohoo! Turn the camera up. All right, this is for you guys that don't believe laser, lens, laser beams are invisible. Let's check this out. That's just one little pass. You see that? Holy crap, some fire. Ah! Laser beams are most definitely not invisible and laser beams can definitely cause fires. Don't try this at home. Be very careful with you out there messing with your lasers. And I gotta hurry up and get this done before I catch my finger on fire. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one. Woohoo!